Hey everyone. Okay, so I'm making this video for young people because I see a lot of young people doing the draw my life and um, basically talking about how they don't know where they're at or, or who they are. Well, I'm 44 and sometimes I don't know who I am. And at your age, I went through a lot of the same things. I think it is more prevalent than people realize because normal is not really normal and there are all young there are many I won't say all there are many young people who at some point in their life go through some sort of depression and I, I think personally I think that it has to do with oh my gosh all of the pressures that young people face not just peer pressure but pressure from your parents pressure from teachers pressure from a part-time job just from every direction that it can come from and young people start to feel overwhelmed rightfully so um, and and don't really know what to do with those feelings of being overwhelmed a constructive way to get past those and then it relates or somehow turns into depression and I don't mean depression like clinical depression or um, medical depression of some sort I don't mean that I mean like just sadness or just those feelings of being down they may not last long then again they might last long if they do last a long period of time you might consider seeing a doctor it happens to many it happened to me when I was young I went through it a great deal now I had a lot of things that I was faced with and that I dealt with from a very young age um, my parents divorced when I was nine and my mom was an alcoholic and was drinking every day to kill her pain and my sister had gotten married my oldest brother had moved in with my grandparents and my younger older brother lived with my dad so it was just me and my mom and when she was out drinking sometimes I was being watched by people and sometimes I was left alone and from that point on my entire life changed every aspect of my being changed from age 9 to age 12 which is when she got sober it changed drastically from the age 12 to age 16 it changed again and then from 16 to 20 once again it changed and that's the thing about life is who we are today may not be who we are tomorrow something may happen that changes us drastically then again maybe nothing happened today when we think we know who we are and tomorrow we wake up and realize no maybe that's not who I am it's normal it is and it's natural to have times of sadness when you are especially when you're really stressed and for people who say that kids or young people don't have anything to stress about they are being foolish and ignorant that's my opinion because kids today are under a lot of stress especially with their school especially and more parents and more older people need to be considerate of that and they need to be cognizant of that and they need to adjust appropriately my son is 18 he and I have a wonderful relationship and he will tell you the same he will also tell you there are times when I'm a bitch and guess what there's times when I'm a bitch but for the biggest majority we have a great relationship 
We like spending time together. We like going out and doing goofy things. Just because I'm 44 doesn't mean that I have to act all serious all the time. More often than not, I don't. Because there are too many things in this life that you have to be serious about. But if you live each day being uptight and serious, you're going to die younger, first off. And secondly, you're going to be miserable. And it's not worth that to me. So, I say to you young people, while today people are wanting you to draw your life and maybe you don't know where it's going, well, you can draw it to this point. And then later on, draw it again from this point on. Your life's not stopping today. And that's something to be grateful for. That's something to really think about because there are are people who may not have it tomorrow and they've seen it coming for a long time <clears throat> so enjoy who you are and don't stress too much about not knowing exactly who you are because there's time for that later on just search within you spend time with you looking deep into yourself and if you don't like what you see, change it. If you do like what you see, accept it and be be that person. Be real. Because if you can't be real with yourself, you can't be real with others. That was a hard lesson to learn. And you know, there are people that are my age, or maybe a little bit younger, maybe a little bit older, who look at the things that I watch on YouTube and they go, why are you watching that? Those are young people. How do you relate to them? I don't necessarily relate to them, but I do have an 18-year-old son and he relates to them. And because of that, I like to stay educated on who uh, is out there and what kind of people they, they are because you can tell what kind of person that you're seeing in the videos even though they're all goofy you can tell if it's a good person or somebody not so good and I like to know what it is that my son is facing in his generation because you can't possibly know your children as well as I believe, this is my personal belief, as well as I believe that we should as parents unless we educate ourselves on their surroundings and the people of their generation. There are a lot of people who would say I'm wrong, but it's working for me with my relationship with my son. And some of it I find just downright humorous. Um, but I'm not an uptight person. I'm not real uptight and stuffy and stern and kids are to be seen and not heard. No. From the time my son was very young, he's always been given choices and he's always been told that you are your own person. And I've always nurtured that. Does he go through times where he's sad? Sure. Does he go through times where he gets angry? Absolutely. His parents are divorced. There's a long history there and what he experienced on his dad's side of the family was not a positive experience nobody physically abused him but mentally and emotionally yeah I believe it was there and so that's kinda hard you know we got kids today who are dealing with more often than not dealing with those types of situations that my generation you don't talk about it Shh. You don't talk about sex, you don't talk about your feelings, you don't talk about your emotions, and kids were to be seen and not heard. I think that's wrong. I think it's wrong. I think more people need to sit down with their children, regardless of their age, and talk. And not just talk, but listen. Close your mouth sometimes and just listen to them. Hear what they have to say. You never know it may be more intelligent than you're giving them credit for. So I know that got a little sidetracked from where it started. 
But with that, I'm going to say, I hope everybody has a great evening and a glorious tomorrow. And always remember, if you don't know who you are today, that's okay. Because you have tomorrow and you have time to figure that out. There are a lot of people who die at a very old age and never know who they are. To me, that's kind of difficult. There are days when I don't know who I am. So, don't put so much stress and um, unnecessary pressure on yourself thinking you have to know who you are because eventually you'll find out and each and every day the experiences that we experience make us who we are tomorrow so everybody have a great evening because that's what time it is and a glorious tomorrow bye